In this demonstration, we'll show how to set up and run a concurrent optimization task using FTTD 7.5. We're going to simulate a solar cell anti-reflector and try to optimize the amount of optical power that reaches the silicon slab by adjusting the height and radius of curvature of the bumps on the surface. Each individual simulation will run in parallel using all the cores of a workstation. The optimization task, which involves a large number of individual simulations, will be sent to a number of workstations and run concurrently. In this manner, the task can be completed many times faster than running with a single core on a single workstation. We'll be using two single processor workstations and two dual processor workstations, which allow us to complete our task roughly 20 times faster. Adding more computers can speed this up arbitrarily. This optimization uses the particle swarm algorithm to find the optimum height and radius of curvature of the bumps on the silicon surface to maximize the power transmission into the silicon slab. We'll start the optimization by clicking this Run button. In this algorithm, we start with 10 randomly selected designs, which are evaluated by sending the simulations to the available computer resources. Each simulation is, of course, run in parallel. Once the first generation is complete, the second generation of designs is chosen based on the results of the first. This process continues generation by generation, converging on the optimal design. So we see the second generation starting. As the simulations are running, you will see the progress in the job manager window. Notice that some computers are running faster than others. This is actually fine because the faster computers will simply end up running more simulations. That's the second generation complete. See the figure of merit improve, and we start the third generation. I'll now open up a remote desktop connection to another computer so we can confirm that it is involved in the optimization. Notice the task manager shows 100% CPU usage uh, with all cores involved. We can see the same result on a local computer. So again, local computer is involved. So after only a few generations, we can already see improvement in the figure of merit. By parallelizing the individual simulations to take advantage of modern computer architecture, namely multi-core and multi-processor computers, and by sending the simulations to many computers, we can solve challenging 3D optimization problems very efficiently and begin to see results in a matter of minutes.